In today's video, we will be using Marie Kondo's KonMari method to fold plus size women's swimwear, one piece and kankinis. Hi, and welcome to GIST 2020. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tracy, and on Fridays, I share videos on how to fold using Marie Kondo's KonMari method. So these tankinis have uh, swim bottoms that are like exercise shorts. So I'm going to fold these in half and then fold in the little crotch area to make it a symmetrical rectangle and then fold it three times and then in half again. Now it does stand up on its own and I'm doing both of them first just to show you quickly and they are slippery fabric so on a slippery surface so they don't really stay up on their own as easily. Now you can store them as is if you have many in a row because as you can see, they do stand up on their own and they will work great in a drawer or on a shelf, as well as in your suitcase or in your beach bag. Here I am laying the swimsuit on its front facing down so I can smooth it out nicely. Whether it has molded cups or underwire, it will all work. It's very similar tuck the straps into the cups so that they're out of the way for a nice neat storage. Next we are going to fold the bottom in at the hip line. If the hips are wider than the bust area then you might want to tuck this in towards the center. Before you give it the next few fold. If there is no underwire then you can fold it in half at the bust and it will make a nice, small, neat little compact package. There are many ways you can choose to store your finished folded swimsuit, but this seems to be the easiest and the best. Next, we are going to fold one of the most common tankinis, placing it with the front face down. We are going to shape the cups and set it all out nice and flat. Always remember to smooth them out because that makes the folding easier each step of the way. We are going to tuck the straps in to the cup area and you will notice that the bottom is a bit wider so we make an extra fold there towards the middle to make it that almost rectangular shape. Then we can fold from the bottom about as wide as the cups are so that we can settle it inside and fold it up. If you wish, you can put in the bottoms into one of the cups. And if it is not an underwire, then you can fold it over and neatly package your bottoms inside the top for easy storage and for keeping the set together. This works great for in your drawers, on a shelf, in your suitcase, and even in your beach bag. If you see anything sticking out, you can kind of nicely tuck that in or refold if necessary. This tankini top is a little bit different in that it doesn't have as obvious of a shape. So we still put it face down on the table, smoothing it all out, making it nice and tidy. The waistband is sticks further out than the bust, so we fold that in to get our overall rectangular shape. Then we fold the waist area up a couple times about the width of the bust. Before we do the final fold to the bust, we make sure that we have our straps folded in. If you chose to do it at the first stage or the last stage, it's okay. Again, I like to grab the bottoms and put them inside the top so that we keep them together. This tankini does not have a underwire nor molded cups, so it still works wonderfully to have a small, neat, tidy package. If any or all of your swimwear is underwire, then this is how it might look in your final stage. Or you could be mixing and matching underwire and different styles. Stacking them on top of each other really isn't the best way. And that really isn't Marie Kondo's KonMari method anyways, so we like to put them side by side, which will work great for a shelf or a drawer in your luggage and in your beach bag. 
And the best storage is putting the folds openings at the bottom so that they stand up on their own. You might find you want to adjust a few things, tuck in a few things, and make it work for you and your style and your storage options. Here I'm just tucking in the sides to make it a little bit neater, tidier, and to stand up a little bit better. This method is wonderful because you can see exactly what you have at a glance. Sometimes if you're traveling, it's nice to put them in a little net or even for laundering. These actually are the laundry bags and for delicates. And then you can store them away this way inside of your reach bag to keep them from flying all over the place. You can store them this way in for out of season. You can store them from this way in your travel bags along with your beach towel or cover-ups and any other items that you decide that you need a lot. This is just one option that I found worked really well for traveling. And of course on your shelves or in your dresser, you could use a tissue box or drawer dividers, even just setting them in the drawer or on the shelf like this will work perfectly. Adjust this if you need to, to make it work for you and your life.